In this tutorial, we will model this part here. So I've started a new part. We're going to start 2D sketch and we'll select the base plane here, which is the X Z plane. And for this, we'll start with the bottom feature, which is the flange. So we'll start at the origin, we'll draw that circle in at 100 millimeters diameter. We'll then draw the through hole in. So again, start from the origin as a diameter of 30 millimeters. And then we need to place our mounting holes around here. So these are placed on a pitch circle diameter of 70 millimeters. I'm just going to right click on that and select construction. We'll use the circle tool. And we'll draw in the first through hole, which is 12 millimeters. Then we'll just use the vertical constraint between the center point of this circle and the origin, and then it's fully defined. Then we can use the circular pattern tool select the according geometry. So that's this circle. And then for the axis, we'll select the center point here. Six instances is correct and at a angle of 360 degrees. So we'll select OK. And there we have our fully defined sketch. So we can go to 3D model. We can extrude this, select the profile. That's at a distance of 15 millimeters. That's correct. Press OK. Now we need to draw in the cylindrical part. So for this, we'll select this face, create sketch. Go to the circle tool, start from the origin, and that has a diameter of 50 millimeters, press enter. Then we just need to project this circle here to maintain that through hole. The 3D model, extrude, select that profile, and that's extruded at a distance of 70 millimeters, press OK. And then we just need to draw in the final feature. So for this, we'll draw on this plane here. So left click once, create sketch. And we'll start by drawing in the arc and the, the through hole circle. So the through hole circle is a 10 mil diameter and the arc has a radius of 13, so that'd be 26 mil diameter. We'll draw the exact same on the other side. And use the equal constraint between the inner circles and the outer circles. And these circles have a distance between one another at 100 millimeters, which is the diameter of this outer circle here. So we can use the coincident constraint between the center point of these circles and this circle here. And then finally, we just need to put in the horizontal constraint between this circle and the origin and this circle and the origin. We'll then go ahead and project these two circles here. So that's the 25 mil arc you can see in the model. And also this uh, through hole here, as I say, we need to maintain that. Then we go on the line tool, just draw in some rough lines, which we will go on to use the tangential constraint afterwards to put them in the correct position. So we'll select the tangential constraint, constrain this line to this circle, like so, and then to this smaller circle as well. And just before we extrude that, I'm going to right click on this circle, select it as a construction line. And then we're going to 3D model and we'll extrude. For this, I'm going to look at the top view. I'm going to select the according profile. So we need these two circles, these two parts, this part here. Home view, that's correct. And that's an extrusion distance of 15 millimeters. Press OK. Look at it from the home view. There we have our completed model. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will reply as soon as I can. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.